Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my bullet journal. I'm really excited. I have wanted to literally show you this for like a whole week. I started it like about a week and a half ago and I've, I have wanted to, um, sorry my dad is really itchy. Um, I have wanted to do one of these for absolutely years but I've just never ever gotten around to doing it and my friend showed me hers a couple of weeks ago and um, I just was obsessed. I just whilst I was with her I logged on to Amazon. I found the same book that she had which I'm just looking for now so I can tell you which one I've got um, and we were just I was looking through her journal and it's just so good. I really suffer with um, quite bad anxiety and sometimes panic attacks. Um, yeah so one of the main reasons I started my bullet journal was to help track things and sort of like manage my anxiety and it's actually really therapeutic so I really do love doing this um, even though it's not been very long. So um, I'll go through today like what I've got um, in my sort of like kit for like what I use. I literally bought some stuff today from the range as well. Um, so I'll just show you quickly what I got and then I will show you what's in my book. Um, but I'll show you my book first. So this is the bullet journal I have got and it is the Mole Skin Extra Large Dotted Journal. And on Amazon it was literally like on office on office on offer for like it was like 13 pounds I think or something. So that is what mine looks like on the inside um, and it's, yeah, it's really good. I, I really, really love it. It is quite big, so just see next to my head as like sort of for reference. I also have been looking for an excuse to keep this uh, Hello Kitty box that my Hello Kitty um, Converse came in and I have a perfect excuse now because I can put all of my stuff for my bullet journal um, in there. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I have before I actually go through my bullet journal and I'll show you um, what I've got. The main things I use is like just a regular pencil. And I've got some pens in here. I don't use Sharpies because they do go through. Um, so I won't be using those, but that's just in there because I thought I'd put all my pens in put all my pens in one place. Um, I've got some scented colouring pencils here. Um, I also have some coloured pencils in here and they are just Crayola. Um, and then I've just got like regular like felt tips. I have another uh, suitcase, I was going to say that. I have another pencil case with really nice um, felt tip pens in somewhere but I can't find it anywhere. It's really annoying me. Um, I really want to find it because it's also got my um, like my metallic sharpies which is just really really annoying um i have these i don't know how you say it is it stadler i have so i have these stadler stadler um these are the uh fine liners and they're so good i actually want to get the big pack because these don't seem to go through my book um you can kind of see it a little bit but for me these are working really well at the moment i've had these for ages so i don't know where i got them from um same with all my pens like these pencils i got them for christmas so i kind of just use like what i've got like i'm not really going out and buying too much stuff really um i also have a ruler which i borrowed from work um and i just keep that in my work backpack i also have another pencil case which is my work pencil case which has stuff like my rubber in and like stuff like that um so i'll keep that in there and then if i need it i'll just go out and get it from my rucksack um but these things i got today i bought these in the range and i got first of all this little book here and it's just got these little um cards in so they look like that and they're really really cute so it's got five um pages per design each design got five pages yeah so that was one pound from the range and i love that because i was thinking i could like cut patterns out or something or like make bookmarks things like that and then i got washi tape so i have one washi tape i got this gold one from ebay like ages ago there's literally loads on it so yeah there's just that one it's just in there then i got this like tube of washi tape this was three pounds also from the range all this is from the range except for the gold one um so yeah these are really really cute it's got like rose gold in here pink uh polka dot yeah that's a hair it's like really really cute i love it um i've not used any of them yet then i got these ones and they're leopard print washies and these were one pound 
for the pack you can kind of see it a bit better at the side so yeah these ones are floral and they were a pound as well so literally the most expensive thing i bought today was this and that was three pound but i thought you know there's one two three four five six seven eight in there there is a really like thin one here you can't really see it but yeah so that is all my washi tapes and little bits and pieces that i keep in my hello kitty box um ready for when i do my bujoing i love that they call it bujo like i'm really really new to this so please forgive me i i'm not great at like explaining things i'm just generally not very good so now to get on and show you my journal so this is the front of my bullet journal i've taken the elastic off um I just I will need to cover up some things because I has got some personal information on there. I don't know if this is gonna work properly or not. So I've kind of done like a front page um, of my journal, and I'm doing like a page that's all about me. I haven't finished it yet um, because I do want to keep adding things before I actually colour it in. So I have put on here things like things that relate to me so I've got Hello Kitty, Spotify, so Spotify is quite a big part of my life because I do a lot of driving and it, it literally has everything on there this is not sponsored by Spotify at all but I just have had Spotify for probably like over 10 years now it's been such a long time and I really do love it Um this was just really cute I thought that was really cute so I just put that on there and I will colour it in um, obviously I've got my first and my last name with a little bow underneath I've got Hello Kitty's bow Hello Kitty because I love Hello Kitty and I have since I was like a teenager I know that's a bit old to be like in Hello Kitty um, my Fiat 500 I did trace this I actually traced um, all of this actually kind of apart from this I sort of did this bit freehand there's like a couple of little bits I did the I did a sort of like circle ish outline here on here but i did pretty much draw this rosary myself um i'm a catholic but i'm not a massively like strict catholic so it is a part of my life and so i have added it on there and it's kind of cute with a little heart on there um i don't know if i've drawn it like 100 percent correct but like i said i'm not like a massively um big into it but it is a part of my life and I do believe in it. Um, I'm a Libra, so I have drawn the scales. Um, this is just another print from Hello Kitty. Um, and then this key was just a cute thing I found online. Um, and it just so happened to be on top of here when I drew, like when I, uh, when I, uh, what's it called? When I traced this, because I did trace this Fiat 500. There's no way I would be able to draw that myself. Um, and can I just say that I take no credit no credit whatsoever for anything that I might have traced. Um, I got a lot of stuff from Pinterest, which I will go more into in a minute. So this is my first um, overall calendar. So here I've put like birthdays and things. I got this idea from um, Pinterest, but someone had done it for like 2017, I think it was. Um, and yeah, so I did basically i got the font from online i don't know what it was called i can't remember what i traced that and then well i sort of traced it and then i had to sort of go over it with my own like i sort of like did my own sort of thing on it because it doesn't look like the actual font from the website so yeah so i've put people's birthdays on there I, as you can see maybe i did do this a bit wrong so i wanted to separate the weekend from the week but that meant that i accidentally did it a bit wrong because i did the numbers with pen and i shouldn't have done that so that's my first mistake and i will always do it in pencil now when i'm looking on my actual viewfinder on the camera it looks amazing um but it really isn't <laughs> so yeah i've just got people's birthdays on here um yeah so that is my full 2019 calendar then this is my April page and I've just done a bunny. I haven't really done anything else with it. Um, the pen underneath has come through, but it's a different pen. This is not the, uh, it's not the Stapler pens. And um, then I've done a Netflix page. So I have not finished this either because I want to do like film rules here and then down there, down here as well. Um, but I've kind of got this idea from 
Pinterest as well. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'm, I want to put my own like twist on it. And basically I've um, put the numbers of series and stuff. And once I've watched that series, I will circle it. So you can see, I can't remember what I've watched in Friends. So I had to have a look. So um, I've probably watched up to like season four. But um, yeah, so that is what I'm doing. Um, next, I have got my bookshelf, which I also got from Pinterest but I have kind of put my own little sort of thing on it so I'm going to colour it in I don't know what colour I'm going to do I might do it like green or something but the bottom is different from like the actual bookcase that I found on Pinterest and I think I've done the books a little bit different but I'm not 100% sure um, but I, I am yet to fill it up I think I'm going to do a DVD case as well I've then got this one. I also got this from Pinterest as well. Um, I don't know who these are from. These literally are pins. So um, obviously I don't get, take credit for anything. But I've kind of like changed um, little bits. So I have used the same font, the same layout. Um, but obviously like the cleaning things inside here I have changed this is just like a general like quick clean because I don't have my own home so once I do have my own home I will be doing like an actual like proper like cleaning schedule which I'm really excited for um, next I've done a random quote page saw this on Facebook why is it your clothes only get caught on the door handle when you're in a bad mood and someone replied saying that's the law grabbing you and telling you to stop being extra so I loved that so I put that in there um, but there are more quotes um, that will probably be just like black font I'm really into like just black and white so um, as you can see there's not much colour in here yet um, I've gone and done songs <laughs> I've only gone and done songs so this I got from a website called Da Font. I think it's called Da Font. I don't know if it's DA Font. I don't know. I've always called it Da Font. So I got that from there. That's just meant to be like, uh, I don't know what they're called. Like they just like hang, but I haven't coloured it in yet. Um, this, this is not what I wanted, but I've just kind of like done like little bits. So I'm just gonna do like little pictures like this one, Money Can't Buy Dappy. Um, like I've done it on like a sort of like a thingy here I might put one in the heart I might start drawing pictures and stuff I don't know I just don't like the way I've done this but you know you kind of like kind of learn sorry my foot's like in the camera um we're gonna get to the end close now so this is my period tracker sorry if any men are watching this but you know something's got to be tracked so hope y'all uh, like my uh tracker so I copied this font from da font um when you have a period it is like you've got the devil spawn inside you so yeah i've copied a little bit from a pinterest page but i've kind of put my own sort of spin on this one so i've like got a picture of um the devil uh whatever that's called kind of got like a bit of a key it's slightly different to the one i saw on there and um, the only thing i'm not happy with is that this font kind of goes like it's not straight so next time i do copy a font i'm gonna have to like put some grid lines and so i can stay inside them um yeah so there's that and what i'm doing is i also have an app on my phone so i do keep it on there but then i can just put it on here once i get my bullet journal back um then here i've got a mood tracker and i've not finished that one yet um but i will do but that's one of the pages i just started and another page I've just started is my Sims 4. I don't know if you can see this properly because I haven't outlined it yet. Um, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a page where you can see all of the packs and expansion packs and stuff packs that I have got. Um, so I've just been tracing the um, logos from the internet. And hopefully once I've got them all it will be full. But this is going to be my Sims 4 page and I'm really, really excited for that to be on there. And um, this is all on PS4 so I'm going to draw like a PS4 um, like logo like here as well. But I haven't seen anything like this online. This is like my own sort of page that I wanted to do. I just thought oh I'll do like a tracker, sort of tracker for my Sims 4. But yeah so... That is everything that I've got in at the moment. Um, I'm going to be starting the front page for May soon, but there are more trackers and things that I want to do. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!